Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and you are listening to another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But, ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call the show Online Marketing Moves. We are coming to you live today. Today is Friday, August the 9th, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something very important. What do you want to be known for? Ladies and gentlemen, we all need something that we can fall on, fall back on. We all need something that we can say, hey, who's the go-to guy in this? Who's the go-to girl in this? And ladies and gentlemen, this is what you need to decide. Everybody has something that, you know, think about the, think about the Hollywood actor, you know? Denzel is known, he's not known for his comedic roles. He, he's known for his dramas. Jim Carrey is known for his comedic roles. Al Pacino is known for his dramas. You know, people were thrilled when Robert De Niro did a comedy, when he did Analyze This with Billy Crystal, when he did Meet the, Meet the Parents with Ben Stiller. They're like, oh, look, Robert De Niro. It's cute that he has a little comedy chops. So Robert De Niro is known for Taxi Driver. He's known for The Godfather. He's known for more serious roles. Raging Bull. So everybody has something that they are known for. And when you are into the marketing game, when you are into the marketing business, the one thing you don't want to be, ladies and gents, you don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. Okay? That will slow you down quite a bit. Because if you ever think about it, if you go to a if you go to a place that only works on engines, you're going to pay a little more money. If you go to a place that only works on brakes, you're going to pay a little more money. If you go to a specialist, you're always going to pay a little more money. And so ladies and gentlemen, you can be you can have a lot of you can have a lot of eyes in a fi- in the fire, okay? But you want to have something that when 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 it's all said and done, they say this guy This girl is the go-to expert in this. You want to carve out uh, something like that. Just imagine. I remember once, ladies and gentlemen, I had a friend. He was dating a young lady, and she wanted to be a chef, okay? Or she was a chef, whatever you want to say. But she was going to get a PhD, and I remember he was saying, Oh, you should be the doctor of love. You should do like Valentine's Day stuff. Like talk, tell people how food and science and, and love and food, how that all works. And she poo-pooed the idea, but there would have been a great idea because then every, you know, Valentine's Day, every, you know, wedding season, they would have brought her out. They would have talked to her. They'd said, here's our food expert about love, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, ladies and gentlemen, Mariah Carey makes fifty million dollars a year doing like Christmas stuff, and now she's leaning into it all the way. And sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, specialties work out. Okay, there are some people who are gonna make a boatload of money during Halloween. There are some people that make a boatload of money during St. Patrick's Day, doing Easter. You know, uh, Easter is Easter is like the Super Bowl of church. If you if you go to church like I do, then you know Easter is is like they bring in like it, it's it's a lot. It's but the idea is Easter is the one day that people that don't go to church are go, going to show up. You know, a lot of people show up. My cousin used to have this thing. He used to say, "Are you one of them e- EMC people?" And I asked him, I said, what is the EMC? He said, Easter, Mother's Day, Christmas. I said, I didn't even know people went to Mother's to Easter on, I mean, went to church on Mother's Day. He's like, oh, yeah. And I said, well, I guess I'm not that because, you know. But anyway, specialty. What can you hang your hat on? Specialty, whether it be email marketing, copywriting, YouTube. Um, you know, writing stories, you know, getting SEO done, you know, whether it be organizing a network marketing group, 
what can you be a specialist in? And then that way, you will always have something to fall back on in your entrepreneur journey, okay? You'll always have a magic card to say, hey, I am great at this. I am great at that, okay? You want to, you just want to have, always have that in your back pocket, you know, ladies and gents. And it's very important. And the reason why it's very important is like I told you before, to be, to be the general mechanic, that's good. You can do that, but you can make more money say hey let me diagnose this i'm spe- i specialize in this i do this i do that you know i specialize in bmw cars you know you can work on every car but if you specialize in bmw cars somebody that's going to come with their bmw they're going to tell another person that has a bmw hey go to this guy he works only on bmws and then you can charge an arm and a leg like the dealership will you know um, Southwest has just changed to to now they're gonna assign seats. You know why? Because that's fighting over seats, picking out seats on an airplane with all these Nimrods these days. It's not a good look. It's not cute. It's not a specialty to hang your hat on. Hey, we don't have any assigned seats. Look at us. We're Southwest, and all and because all you ever get is. One jack leg sitting at the window, one jack leg sitting in the aisle, and then you come, Johnny come lately, and you're like, hey, is anybody sitting here? And they go, oh, uh, 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 and you go, eh, I'm going to sit there anyway, okay? And so that's not a great specialty, okay? We we don't assign the seats on the airplane, and people nowadays, everybody thinks they're a celebrity, you know, so everybody's a somebody, allegedly, let them tell it. So you want to specialize in something that you can really you know get some skin in the game about you know so it doesn't matter what what it is if it's offline marketing online marketing postcards you know envelopes um letters in the mail you know forms online you know whatever you're great at whatever you have gotten better at and better and better at you know my specialty i would hang on to podcasts because i've done a podcast for three years I've gotten better at it. We've gotten more listeners. We've got, gained a bigger audience. So I would always sell a course in podcast. And I would always talk about how podcasting can get you, you know, search engine, how podcasts can do this and do that. And you know the rest. And so, ladies and gentlemen, there's always something that you can hang your hat on. And you want to have the ability to hang your hat on something because um, sometimes things might get low, things might get slow. But you say, hey, I always got this in my back pocket. You know? It's sort of like I got a CDL. I have the CDL in my back pocket. If things ever go bad, things ever go to the left, to the right, I can always whip out the old CDL and go back to driving, you know? But let's hope not. You know, we, we, not, we, ain't, we ain't looking for that. Eventually, we're going to get rid of that CDL. But, then, you know, for the next couple of years, you know, you got to just, see where it goes but um you want to have something to fall back on so you know because the 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 crazy thing is here's 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 an important thing you get great at one thing people are going to ask you questions about every other thing people ask kevin hart about motivation they ask kevin hart about financing kevin hart's a comedian why would you ask kevin hart about anything else they ask him about relationships. They ask him about this. They ask him about children. They ask him about a whole bunch of things. But he's great. He's an expert in comedy. But he's been successful at comedy. So people would like to say, I wonder what Kevin Hart thinks about X, Y, Z. And that's just the way it goes. And so for you, the better you get at something, the more people will come to you and say, hey, you know, do you know about this? Or do you know about that? Or what do you know? Do you know this? Do you know that? Do you know blah, 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 blah. And so they will come to you and you will be an expert in more than just that one thing, okay? Because people will want to know what you think because you have succeeded in something great. They want to see what else you you have. They have a respect, a healthy respect for you. And so they will want to know your thoughts on a lot of other things, all right? And so, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that is it. 
We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. Um, but until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. God bless. And as always, everybody, peace.